Brandon Boyer Randall there to make the, that stop. Here's John Moten in the game now in the backfield as Thorson looks to take a shot. Nice. And well, he should. All the way. It's McGowan. Kyreek. Touchdown. 77 yards. Without being affected by pressure on the back end, coming from the opposite guard position to a wide open wide receiver, well designed play. From the 34, it's first down. That's the first accepted penalty of the game. Forson looping it for Jefferson. He's what got it. It is a touchdown. Wow. Just about his accuracy, right? And, and the little play fake underneath, but this is what you call dropping a dime right here. Pearson with excellent coverage there. But again, when the ball is perfectly thrown with the sideline, Jefferson just goes and lays out. I think that ball is caught. I yeah, mean, he just did a too. fantastic job. They did in man coverage with Felton Davis the third. They go reverse again, going with Davis. He's got room. That's it. The Spartans take the lead. A little chicanery. Touchdown. Something that's really cool. He's going to come back this direction here. And when he comes back, watch him get vertical up the field really quickly. I mean, he's reading it like a running back right now. A lot of those wide receivers will try to get to the edge and use they, their speed or avoid. We yeah. haven't seen very much, if any, of Moten. This is going to be into the air. Wow. Oh, picked off. Intercepted. And came away with the interception. Got that big mid Boom. up there. Anderson, it climbed on him in his eyeballs and just <laughs> caught him in the face. Panasic, he scooped that in. Second and goal. Lawerke on the fade. It is wow. caught. Touchdown. Incredible. Felton Davis, the third. Felton Davis, the third. I say I'll free you, then see you. Nice job of showing you great body control. That ball was floated up in the air exactly where it needed to be over the inside shoulder. Even with this much time remaining. Looping it towards the corner. It's caught. It's touchdown. It's green. Northwestern reclaims the lead. Wow. You don't expect them to go that deep, but again, the eyes flash to the front side, comes back and lays a dime right over the shoulder to complete the pass and the touchdown. Like the switch route. They can push it up here. There it is. Come on. He, he took it away trigger, from him. And there's the touchdown. <laughs> the two-point conversion to Vault. Thorson on his own. He got it. He's in there. Well, he may have gotten the first down. No signal of touchdown. Not yet. Timmy got, got it. that. He got it. Touchdown. Northwestern is going to get yet another win over Michigan State. Yep. Coach, MSU came out quickly in that second half. How were you able to shut them down and shift the momentum back where it needed to be? Huge drive by our offense and got momentum back, and then our defensive guys played their hearts out. This is a reoccurring theme with us against the Spartans, a hard-fought battle. So proud of our guys' resiliency. It was a big win for us. And you leaned heavily on quarterback Clayton uh, Thurston today. How, how were you able to – or how was he able to – tear down this MSU defense. Yeah, you know, he's just getting stronger each week, Holly, and, and uh, I'm just so proud of him. Everything he overcame uh, this whole offseason to continue to battle and fight, and, um, you know, we needed this. We were so close the last three, really four weeks uh, to come up here and compete against a great MSU team. I had so much respect for Mark, but really proud of our guys with their resiliency. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Go Cats. Thank you. Clayton, three straight wins for you now against Michigan State. What is it about this opponent that brings out the very best in you? Yeah, you know, they're, we really respect them. Um, you know, I knew Coach D'Antonio from recruiting, and a lot of those guys on that team are from around here, and so we have a lot of respect for them. So we come out, and uh, thankfully we rise to the occasion. They're a real good team, and I think the last three years or the last two years they've been ranked. So we got a lot of respect for them, so we bring our best. And we talked so much about your second half of woes. Those are now over. You finished today. How were you able to pull that out? You know, we just at, at, uh, at halftime, we made a collective effort that we're not going to let what happened. We've learned from our mistakes and we came out and, and finished well. So I was really proud of our guys about that. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you. All right.